which came from the internet. All right, Brandy, what's the story? What's going on? Well, this time we're going to go to Chicago, where a guy was arrested using a signal jamming device to block passengers' cell phone signals while traveling on a local train. Hmm. The guy's name is Dennis. He's 63 and was identified via an anonymous 911 call after passengers complained about their signals being blocked on a red line train. This guy's lawyer later telling the Chicago Tribune that he was simply seeking some peace and quiet on his morning commute. He was so disturbed by people talking around him that he might have been selfish in thinking about himself, but he didn't have any malicious intent. Witnesses shared photos of Nichols and his device, a black box with five antenna months prior to his arrest. Chicago police working in conjunction with the FCC and the CTA to actually track him down, follow him on to a red line train. He was arrested after the train stopped when he allegedly used the device to block the call of an undercover officer. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was his bail has been set at ten thousand dollars by a judge who referred to this guy as the cell phone police. <laughs> Being 16, he yeah. reminds me of the guy who was like, get off my lawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want those crazy kids on my lawn. All the cell phones and this stuff. Right. This guy's a hero. That's what he is. That's who he is. We should be constructing statues of him to stand outside of every train station on planet Earth. Give him a medal, give him money, give him everything. This guy, the warrior champion on the front lines fighting the plague of narcissism that runs rampant and unchecked through our society. I was on a train on my way to Patty on the River this past weekend. Mm -hmm. These three individuals in front of me sat there blasting, for some reason, Whitney Houston's greatest hits. Okay? It's coming out of this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Tinny little iPhone speaker. It's the worst thing ever. Really loud. So someone complains, and the conductor comes over and asks them to turn it down. And to their credit, they did uh, for approximately 70 seconds until the conductor was no longer in the car. And then they put it back up, possibly even louder than it was before. Oh, no. Now, I don't know what that complex is, uh, where not only do people think that the public space is open for them and that it's okay for them to speak loudly on their phones or play music or have the sound on in their games, but not only do they think that they can, but that they should do it, too. I'm embarrassed when my phone rings in public, let alone say, so he says to me, yeah, do you believe this? So she says to me, uh, yeah, how'd you know? Oh, he told you? When'd he tell you? Like, nobody, nobody needs this, Okay. I hate being the person that disturbs other people on trains or whatever, and it doesn't make any sense, and it won't process in my brain how anybody will, like, allow themselves to be that guy or that girl that's like, yeah, hey, or blasting something without headphones in. An important bit of advice that I'll share that I learned when I was uh, very young, and I think it applies to a lot of situations in life, uh, but most specifically for, uh, for subways and trains and things like that. It's so what my grade school librarian used to always tell us on Wednesday. Okay. Read a book and keep your mouth shut. It came from the internet.